let's draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this frame. Well, by vertical force equilibrium, we have a vertical reaction that's equal to the resultant of the uniformly distributed load, which is 2 kN per meters by the length on which it's acting. And because it's a fixed support, we also have a moment reaction. So taking a sum of moments about the support, with our usual counterclockwise convention being positive, we have a moment produced by the uniformly distributed load, that's clockwise, and the resultant has a magnitude of 2 kN per meter by 2 meters, and it acts in the middle of that load. So therefore the moment arm is 1 meter. And then plus the moment reaction is equal to 0. So the moment reaction is 4 kN meters. And we'll first draw the shear force diagram. Well, if we're going to cut the column from bottom to top, we can see that there's no horizontal reaction acting on this segment. So the shear force in the column is all zero. And here we have a uniformly distributed load. So if we cut the beam from right to left, so we can see that the shear force is 2 multiplied by x. And therefore it's going to vary linearly on that beam. With a magnitude of 2 by 2 meters, which is 4 kilonewtons. And now we'll draw the bending moment diagram. So here we have a uniformly distributed load. So the bending moment diagram is going to vary from 0 and parabolically up to the joint between the beam and column. And it's simply going to be W by the length, and the resultant acts in the middle of that beam. So we're going to multiply this by the moment arm, which is 2 on 2. And therefore the magnitude of the bending moment is 4 kN meters. And that has the same magnitude as the bending moment in the column. Because there's no externally applied moment at the joint. And we can see that there's no horizontal reaction acting on this segment. So the bending moment is going to be constant throughout that column. And at the support is going to be equal to the moment reaction. So remember that the derivative of the bending moment is the shear force. So the bending moment diagram is constant on the column, so the shear force is zero. And the bending moment diagram is parabolic on the beam, so the shear force is linear. Please subscribe, like and comment to help me reach more students.